Hey guys and girls, male and female lizards, childs and eggs. Uh, here we are back again and like I promised you yesterday, today we are going to continue with Gordizzle's adventures. So here we've got him, our favorite scale skinned hero, level 20 Drakish Paladine Gordizzle. And if you remember in the last episode we read a couple of books and in the end I was wondering uh, whether or not our toughness uh, toughness stat had changed and uh, I rewatched the video and indeed we lost three points of toughness by uh, not successful book reading which totally sucks. Uh, that is, ah, that it was for the light spell and other spells that we didn't even need. So uh, first thing we do today is uh, take a look if there is some book that we definitely want to read for that brings us a recognizable advantage. So, um, I'd like to learn slow monster and heal. I think we don't have them yet, do we? Uh, slow monster, we don't have that yet and we do not have heal yet. So I want to learn both those. And now we're doing it the way we should do it. At first we bless the spell books. So Take the spell book of feel, bless it, and now read it. Master the heal spell, improve it, improve it, that's how it should look. Uh, spell book is gone. Anyway, we've got 202 castings uh, of heal, which is quite nice. And the next spell we want to learn is Slow Monster. So we bless a spell book of Slow Monster. We do not want to risk losing another point of toughness. We learn the Slow Monster spell, improve it, and that should be enough for the moment. Wow, 607 castings. That's great. So, all the rest of the books going to be dropped by now. Maybe we want to recharge some spell later or whatever. You do definitely, under no circumstances, want to uh, ruin our toughness even further. That really, really, really sucked. Oh, we need all those arrows, I think. Let's take them. Got a couple of ammunition. Potions. Scroll of medium uh, scroll of protection and take up the food. So we've done that. We had the scroll of increased melee accuracy and the scroll of protection. We could try to use the scroll of protection on the red dragon scale mail, but I don't think it will work. Usually it doesn't. Maybe I don't. Uh, well, at first, before we forget it, we have to bless our crown of science so we can take it off. We don't have that much holy water left. So. Uh, and the weapons we're going to use do not necessarily need to be increased either. Well, we might try to maybe increase the protection value of our boots. Does it work? No. Anyway, put on our tower equipment now. Off the crown. 
No, 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 not re equip the crown. That's stupid. We need this. That. No cloak. Um, our weapon is the hammer of the gods. Rings are perfect like they are. Uh, early metal gun lot, seven league boots will be changed later. Mm. So, that's it. So now, our next aim is the Tower of Eternal Flames. Oh man, dudes, I am really excited because, uh, like I told you a couple of times, this is a key point of the game. If we manage to successfully do the Tower of Eternal Flames, we can also do the rest. The biggest problem is we cannot tell, uh, we cannot uh, uh, protect our equipment. You know that, but. Uh, I think we can do it anyway, because we are quite strong, we've got good studs, we've got uh, good equipment uh, that is fireproof by itself. So I guess we shall be able to do it. At first we are going to enter the first level of Darkforge, close this door, and uh, use this to store some equipment that we will not take with us. Of science, why didn't I leave it in Dorftown? I don't know, but that for sure. Then, uh, wait, first we have to take off our seven league boots, equip the adamantium boots instead, drop the seven league boots, first drop the pickaxes, drop all those ranged weapons, drop all the pieces of ammunition. Except for those higher metal Skugari, just in case we want to uh, attack an enemy from afar in order to make him aggressive or something like that. And those Skugari are very good because they get, do not get uh, destroyed. So, drop all the wands. Problem is that uh, we have to take some of this stuff with us in order to kill the boss enemy of the tower. But uh, we do that on the quickest possible way. We will at first uh, mm, secure all, uh, uh, explore all the levels up to the boss level. Then we go back, take the equipment that we need, uh, and teleport through the uh, through the tower as soon as possible, as quick as possible. So we not want to get hunger problems, so we eat until we are bloated, which is now. Drop the rest of the stomophilias. Now we should be ready. Is there anything that we do not want to take with us? No. Oh, oh there is. A crossbow. Uh, and the quarrels, where were they? Here. So. Off to the tower. Dudes, I am excited. That's how the tower looks from the inside. I'm glad we've got this red dragon scan made because of this we are immune to fire. Otherwise we would get uh, lots of damage. And as you can see, a, a drakeling in hot areas gets quicker and quicker the longer he is inside. So if we stay in here for long enough, we will be a rocket on two legs. So who's that? We want to 
with our Dragish uh, Skugaris in order to train a little with them. Miss the fire grew. Miss him again. Let's see how we do in the end fight. Slightly damaged. Slightly damaged is not so good. Severely damaged. Critically destroyed. Red baby dragon. Did not survive for very long. Take the melon and the money. Maybe most of it will get destroyed before we leave the tower, but... Uh, We take it anyway, maybe we can bring something out. Red warm, and there are the upstairs. As it is a tower, we're looking for upstairs, not downstairs. Level 1 is Gurgaris, nice. What's up with this uh, fire demon? He's quite slow, I've got the feeling. <laughs> oh, we are just quite quick. We're already at okay, he does big damage if he hits us if he and he corrupts us. Maybe we do it a little more defensive. Okay. We did it. The means of healing that we have if we get in trouble with health, the only one, is the Chaos Orb of Elemental Water. If we use that one, uh, we... Uh, We'll see that um, our uh, whole health will be regenerated at once, but it corrupts us to use it. So we do not want to overuse it. Okay, we get more damage. Yeah, yeah, okay, we get more damage over time, just from being in this hot environment. Okay, that's good to know. Although we are immune to fire, maybe that doesn't count for draglings. Okay, so we should do it maybe in several attempts, level by level. Okay. Man, but we're already quite quick, we are at more than 300 speed. Here's a red dragon. Behind him is a fire drake. Okay, that's a little dangerous while we are down at so low health. So we will uh, first leave the tower and uh, regain some. Uh, eat the fire lizard cops. Just regain some uh, health points. I do not want to use the chaos orb while we are on the first level of the tower. Man, that makes it a whole lot more dangerous. Fight those bandits. Just kill some time and train with the Skugari. I still have a little hope that while exploring the Tower of Eternal Flames we might maybe find a means of uh, protecting our equipment there. Because <laughs> that would be a really lucky, but uh, why not? Let's just hope for it. Eat some pepper petals to regenerate our health. Too full to eat right now. So uh, how did this spitting work? Was it that way? So. Yeah, so we uh, just spit some food out, so we can eat again. Two, three, that should be okay. Eat feather petals. Too bad we cannot take them with us. 
So. Oh. Fuck you. But we have no equipment that is in danger. So I guess we are already immune to shock. Don't know. At least we are uh, resistant now. So our health is regenerated. We are bloated. Go back to the tower. Air elemental. We've ate it. Oh, we don't get away. Then it has to die. Out of ammunition. Well. So, we are still at a very high speed. Highly damaged, severely damaged, critically, and slain. I do not know if we do enough damage kill the boss enemy in time. Well, but we'll see. We take some risks on the way. I hope we can do it. Level 10 with claps and hammers, that should be quite fine. Mm. Ring of acid resistance. Hm. We're acid immune. Skugar. And door creation will be destroyed soon, very likely. We're done with the first level. Do we already take a look at the second one or rather rather regenerate? We do it the secure way. I've never used this tactic, so I do not want to risk too much and die in the end. If it's still whole, we might drop some of the stuff we found. Uh, drop the ring of acid resistance. Uh, wand of door creation. Money. The gam. For example, the, the book that we found already got destroyed. But why waste that stuff? Okay, okay. Carrying capacity. Okay, blessed sedated. We, we don't need uh, strength of Atlas for this level. Okay, here we go. Teleport over there to the next level. extra dangerous place for a drake thing especially with each other race we would have had enough time to just explore those levels but the drakeling gets this uh, background damage although being immune to fire that is really tough hope from killing these dragons that maybe one of them will drop a fireproof blanket that would make the whole stuff a lot easier okay this guy is dangerous but I could show you a nice thing against those fire guys where is it never bold we've got a couple of castings take this and he shrugs off the fuck you shrugs off the boat man that's where we learned it for this fucker just strikes it off. Okay, we have to take care of our health. Yeah. Get out and regenerate. 
then get back. What's up? Moderately, severely, critically, and dead. Fire giant corpse going to be eaten right now. No strength increase, too bad. So, eat pepper petals till we are regenerated. On it goes. Hobgoblin patrol. Gonna fight them. Still I hope that they drop something. Locked. We use our divine key spell. Let's see if we can nether bolt this guy. Shrugs it off. Try it another time. Shrugs it off. Okay, they shrug off many bolts. Like it seems, we have to kill him in the end fight. injured. I think we're doing not too bad with this Gugari already at level 3. That's quite nice. So we've got more or less usable ranged weapon. Here's the upstairs. What's that? Adamantium boots. Okay, well, you can sell them. It's a big level. Door is locked. so concentrated and here we've got fire drakes that would take quite some time if not we could kill them with our beautiful nether bolt bam four in a row that's what I waited for nether bolt there's also fire giant Dracovs, not neat. Pick up the Skugari. Arrows, Wand of Wonder. The Wand of Wonder will get destroyed anyway, so we would just use it and pick off the spells that it grants. Okay. Uh, out of power points. Light. Red walls. Uh, I'd like to finish exploring this level before I leave. So that's it. Now get out of here. If we get in uh, to a critical range of hit points, which we do, we're going to teleport. Um, ethereal bridge on ourselves to the stairs. <sighs> so
So we have successfully explored the first two levels. Continue the third one. And in order to uh, save some time, we will just enter the tower and teleport to the next level, teleport to the stairs again. And then we have the whole time in the, in the right level. So ethereal bridge on ourselves up there. Ethereal bridge on ourselves up there. Level 3. See what we find. That's also how we will uh, walk or how we will uh, go through the tower once we've explored everything and try to get up with our stuff. Because so we uh, have a minimum of uh, lost equipment. Wand of Wonder. First, the first one. That was uh, mm. side spell. Let's take a look. How how good are we? We regenerate one hit point every ten turns. That's fucking quick. Good mana regeneration too, I think. Hmm. Lucky, fate smiles, sleep resistant, teleporting, tele teleport control, stun resistant, paralyzation resistant, shock resistant. Immune to shock attacks, gain through an item, immune to fire attacks, immune to acidic attacks. That really looks quite nice. Here are the upstairs. And here we've got a, uh, an altar. It's a neutral altar. Well, those monsters are neutral too, I think. <laughs> anyway, this helps us against those nasty demons that we already met. Scale mail, crystal scale mail. That was too heavy to carry, I think. Well, we might just take it and sacrifice it to our god. very close to us. Nice. So we've got also at least a couple of emergency prayers. 120. Fire elemental. Slightly damaged. Continue to. Cast one nether bolt to hit them both. Mm. Herbert. I will check out the healing spell that we learned. How much do we heal? Whoa! That's a lot. Maybe that enables us to stay in here a little longer with each run if our power points regenerate quick enough. Let's go carry to level 4, that's good. this level. Let's get back to the entrance. So, restore our health and then go for the last level. Really, really hope we will be able to successfully finish the tower. 
so have we got something we want to drop? That ring mail, the small shield, Eternian boots, all good to sell. Long sword. Something else. The key. The money. Coral arrows. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. This will be our last exploration run. Don't be no, don't want to waste time with them. So we go teleport eight. Teleport again. Teleport again. And this, you can see it from this uh, dangerous glowing walls, this is the final level of the tower. Here we have to find and kill the boss enemy, which is one of the strongest in the game, considering uh, how strong characters are at this time. As you can see, the right side of the level is not explored yet and there is no way to be found. We have to dig our way through. But before we do that, we need our equipment. Exploration done. Wait, that was stupid. Anyway. Cast heal spell. The heal spell is very nice, it heals a big amount of damage. Like it. Just a couple of times. Okay, maybe kill those giants. Maybe one of them is so kind to drop a, a blanket for us. I guess that was our last chance to find a pipe with blanket or ring of ice. Maybe we are just destined to do it without. Makes the whole stuff uh, a little harder, but I am positive that we can do it. So, leave the tower, regenerate our hit points. Well, and that's it. We did a scout run through the Tower of Eternal Flames. In the next episode, we are going to storm the tower and challenge the boss enemy. This is going to be damn exciting. You saw how deadly this environment is even without the boss enemy. And uh, fighting this boss will be fucking hard. If we survive this battle, then we are a true hero. So guys, don't miss the next episode. I don't know if I will play tomorrow or uh, if there will be another uh, Roman Republic game tomorrow, but uh, I, I will let you know soon enough. And you don't want to miss this boss fight, believe me. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode again. Cross your fingers for good Dizzle and hope to see you next time.